What's up, y'all? What am I behind the wheel of? Well, here's a Chrysler. Low mileage. Runs good. What could it be? No. Any ideas? It's got leather. Have you guessed what it is yet? Here's a big hint. There's no roof. Uh, hop out here, this low rider. Look at this hot rod. Yeah. What we have here is a 2000 Chrysler Sebring convertible. And it is up for sale already. Beep beep. Well, there you go. Yeah. Tell you, having a convertible is weird. I don't think I could ever get used to a convertible. That's okay, because this car is up for sale. And yes, it is sitting on four donuts. This car here was sitting on blocks when I went to go pick it up. I had to go and get these donuts just so I can move it. It was one of those cars they wanted gone. Uh, the person's son had, he owned it, hit a curb with it, bent a wheel and whatever. You know, you can see the mark down the side here where he hit something else, side swipe. Not bad or anything, but yeah. He put a different set of wheels on it. Decided he didn't want it no more because now it needs an alignment. Uh, he parked it in the garage, pulled the wheels off, sold those, left it on blocks, and then he started to pull the thing apart. He had this whole front end off. Bow fenders, hood, bumper, headlights, radiator, core support, had part of the dash apart. Clone fans kicked on. Yeah, this whole dash damn near took it apart. As you can see, I put it all back together. Leather seats, other than it needs to be cleaned. Damn leaf. And he's a good cleaning. Does have the uh, the tonneau cover, which I will pull that off for a second. Set that right there. Looks nice to have. And yes, the top is there. Come into here. Yeah. He cut the hood latch cable instead of taking it off. It's a 2.5 liter V6. Runs good. And that cool fans off. Runs really good. Uh, the car has 117,000 miles on it. But supposedly the motor's got about 30,000 on it. Get out of that. So yeah, it, it runs good. It drives. All the windows work. Got that window. Got this little back window. This window. And of course the, the back window. And then you have the big window. Which is weird as hell. Seeing that thing drop down over you. And of course here's the latches. If you've never seen a convertible top four, how these work? See the latch? Looks right on there. Sucks the top down. Pretty cool. Camry, which is pretty cool. Everything works. Me. Oh, 
Hop in. Well, the logs work is missing the piece of trim and uh, the lock thingy, you know, the little stub. But, you know, it's got some wear and tear, but it's really not bad. Uh, lights work. I think one of the parking lights is out. Hope you do. Put this thing in drive. The car is dirty, it needs to be clean. Uh, the front end's not all the way together. I didn't put the wheel wells in it. Yep. She drives good. Well, about as good as the car that needs an alignment that's sitting on donuts. Whoop-dee-doo. Whoop-dee-doo. Whoop Put her in reverse. Backing up. Back and drive. Nice power steering. This really wouldn't be too bad of a car to put back on the road. I'm selling it as a parts car because I don't really have anything in it. And I've got another car I've got my eyes on that I want. So this one's got to go. I'll park it about right here. As you can see, it doesn't have any overheating issues like most of these cars do. Runs nice and smooth. And it runs good. It's not bad. So as soon as this car is gone, I will go pick up my other one because I only have, I really don't have space for it. So. One of them's got to go, and I'd rather have the other one. And it's got a brand new battery in it, too. Yeah. Uh, got clean title. Pop trunk. Trunk needs struts. There's the wheel wells for it. I didn't bother putting them in because I didn't feel like it. But it looks like everything's there for it. Because uh, originally I was just going to scrap the car. But I decided to put it back together and uh, get a little bit more out of it as a whole car, as a possible driver, than just scrapping it. Because it's really not in that bad shape. Interior will clean up pretty nice. You know, it's got your typical wear and tear for leather, but it's really not bad. But yeah. So I'll get this video up park this thing and uh, go inside for a bit and wait on hopefully someone to buy this car that way I can go pick up my T-Bird well you want a 2000 Chrysler Sebring convertible let me know later y'all